Oh. Cock sleeves. Are we starting? Are the best. Or is this just the pre pre warm up? I've ever seen. Is this the pre warm up? This could be the pre warm up. Because just tell me when you want me to hit my record. Well, I'm just or thinking about right now. Is it like a cock sleeve? Cock sleeve. Like, has there ever been like a cock like sweater? Yes, there is. They have cock sweaters. Bro, you could go on Etsy and get a hoodie for your dick. Why are there cock sweaters? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm in. But why? Why not? Bro, because this, why? A hoodie for a hoodie for your fucking Woody. Hoodie for your Woody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because when it gets cold, it shrivels up. Yeah, you it's are. not impressive. Yeah, it's also not impressive. You to remember see Tank it the Turtle a- when his head used to go into his shell? <laughs> that's what it looks like when I get out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes, there is there is a cock sleeve. That's weird. I wouldn't need much fabric, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of knits. <laughs> oh my god. Why did you why did you why did you knit a G.I. Joe headband? Nope. That's for my dick. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> G.I. Joe's turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> well shit. All right, with that being said... This podcast features two washed-up 40-year-old local legends and a feral female that drink way too much, rethinking their life choices while just grabbing life by the pussy. So sit down, relax, and grab your meth. It's time to enter the Gentleman's Den. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh, and girl. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gender Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shout Bro, out, welcome. Oh. Sean, Kayla, Jeff, back in the den, back to talk more oh. shit about shit. And happy St. Patty's Day. It's not St. Patrick's Day. Technically, when this comes out, it will be St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. <laughs> you Kayla, right. We already discussed this. This is for degenerates. They <laughs> so, can drink without any. So it'd be yeah, it happy mean, degenerate yeah. day. Yes. So happy. Go get you some. Happy <laughs> you your alcoholics day, out there have an excuse tonight. <laughs> well, oh, baby, boy. Palace, don't and you the, know? And the cops were out already. I don't know. I, it, can, I bet. I, I Should we do this on our hacks on for the whole time? No. <laughs> no, please don't. For the love of God, don't. Please do that. don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh Sean's gonna pull out his shillelagh. <laughs> Getting kicked off of YouTube. Second episode back. <laughs> all right. Which, by the way, thank you to all of our new subscribers to all of our versions of the Gentleman's Dead podcast. We had a nice little bump from uh the estrogen in the room. I think it's just because I actually shared it. Yeah, everybody just is sick of me sharing shit because... Yeah, and I don't... And Jeff doesn't internet. Jeff, I yeah. share funny memes, and that's basically... It. Honestly, it's... I go on there, I steal memes, I share memes, and then I'm out. Our group chat yeah. is uh, wonderful with the memes. It's beautiful, beautiful <laughs> times. Well, yeah. We went to a Irish pub down in uh, Chicago today, and uh, I had the hangover... Which is <laughs> French fries, cheese curds, and a pizza puff. You're fucking Ooh. seven. <laughs> it does sound really good, but yeah, well, yeah, he eats like a seven year old. They're all sure. eating uh, Reuben egg rolls. Ooh, those are probably pretty tasty. They looked good, but he didn't want any. I wasn't like super hungry. <laughs> he's, he's not a sauerkraut guy anyway. No, no, no. He has cheese curds, French fries, and pizza. Yes, puffs. I eat like a twelve year old, and I enjoy my life. Dino, if there's dino nuggets on the menu, just 100% <laughs> Those are for I'm in. It. Let's go. Did you did you get denied dino nuggets in Vegas? We went yes. to Vegas, yes. and I the only shit I wanted was on the kids' menu. And she said, I got in trouble the last time I did that. Just don't tell anybody. That's... Like, come on. Just give me the fucking mac and cheese and the dino nuggets. I don't know. What do you want me to do here? You and your F-bombs. What? It happens. Kayla. At this YouTube's point. not going to control the way I talk. If it gets copyright or kicked off, if it gets it's copyright, copyright, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll take the show to X. 
We'll put it up on X. Who owns the YouTube? Does anyone know? Google. The Google. Okay, the but Google. who started? Like, we all know Zuckerberg. No. And Tom. Chewy. Nope. Remember Tom? Uh, yeah, yes. from MySpace. It's my, yeah, your first friend. You yeah. And you couldn't delete him because you just kept looking at your shit. We kept, had it so good kept with MySpace. From you. We had it good. We had profile songs. Oh, yeah. You could change your backgrounds well, and shit. We were like coders, yeah, too. Yeah, we you had all to have learned codes. how to code yeah. yes. because of MySpace. Yes. Yeah. I'm done with Facebook. This fucking cat. I know. <laughs> Look, I know. He looks like he's staring into somebody's soul. So This angry. is the uh, gentleman's done mascot. One if you're them. watching the YouTube, it's the uh, Chewbacca Banana has invaded the den. Mm-hmm. How was your guys' week? Long. <laughs> um, you Fucking already long. You already know how my week was. Oh, my lady. But tell us. No. Uh, but I get it's depressing. <laughs> She's having no. flashbacks right now. <laughs> it's like a nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <It's> helicopters. <laughs> we had a saying back in the oh shit, where's his legs? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Shane Gillis. <laughs> oh, oh boy, that guy just tickles me right where I am. <laughs> that is, if you haven't seen it, go check out the, uh, <laughs> the Grill Sergeant. The Grill Sergeant. It's one of the best skits I've ever seen. Basically, he plays a war veteran, Guy Fieri, and he just has flashbacks the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> I can really taste and feel that cinnamon in my eye. <laughs> Shout out to the grill sergeant. Shout out to the young bull, Shane Gillis. Well, how was your week? Mine? Yeah. It was fine until I got the fucking bubble guts. Ooh, the old Wadabi trots, huh? I mean, I'm not trying to gross anyone out, but I just took a shit. <laughs> It looked like black tar. <laughs> That's not head. good. Maybe not. I, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> really concerned for you just, right now. I just kept wiping and wiping. Just now? <laughs> yeah, a little bit ago when I got home. Well, you did black me. tar. I almost Shut called you in to look at it. That's not good. Well. Well, you did just... You're eat. a nurse. You're supposed to inspect me. You, well, did you didn't eat. call me in there. You also just ate French fries, a pizza puff. And it shouldn't be shirt. black. <laughs> no, it's when never you... been black. Or tarry. That's not good. And the turd was bigger, too. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I didn't know this was going to be a women. <laughs> <Gross. fucking. laughs> so gross. So if someone wants to... Any doctors... Uh, <laughs> If there's any doctors watching doctors this, I'm not, tell us who you are because I'm not going to see you. If you're fucking listening to us, oh boy, oh. just say What? They got to laugh too. Uh, I'm sure. Or at least feel better about themselves in some well, way. Kind of like in, at the end of Ted too. We're a fun hospital here. Until <laughs> 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 he's dead. I did watch... Uh, uh, someone suggested poor things. Emma Stone. Oh yeah, nah. <laughs> it, the preview looks like whimsical, like a dark comedy. Yeah, it looked like it was gonna be good. Nah. I literally was like almost. I was about done with this, and I paused it. And I was like, "There's a motherfucking hour, <laughs> an hour." I literally stood up in the front room. An hour. <laughs> was that All the one she won the Oscar for? Dude, litter, legit, I think it's like three hours long. She might get fucked for two hours of it. So if you're into Emma Stone just getting plowed by Mark Ruffalo. Jesus. Oh, man. And hobos. <laughs> Is this the movie she won the Oscar for? Oh, yeah. Just probably for, I mean, she did a, a good job, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I get plowed by Eskimos or whatever. Like just, yeah, she starts out just getting, you know. Plowed by Kenosha's own Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Kenosha, Wisconsin's own Mark Ruffalo. Shut up. And then, uh, yeah, just proceeds to join a whorehouse and gets banged by fucking uh, the rest of the town. 
Which is weird because I feel like the preview and then by that, even... By that time, I was already on my phone just looking at shit while the movie was playing in the background. Yeah. I... It's weird. No, not Emma Stone fans? You don't want to see her get... I, I, like, I Emma like Emma Stone. I like Emma Stone, but... It was just, too much. I just don't... Any movie that wins an Oscar, that if it's not like... have Doesn't have any action or anything in... Any good special effects or anything... I have no fucking interest. No, that's stupid. the Oscars don't touch me in a the place I want to be touched. The Shape of Water at, you know? won the fucking on the Oscar, and that movie sucked ass. Well, yeah, she's banging a fish. Yeah, that was the oh. real Aquaman. <laughs> yes. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. She banged the fish man from Hellboy. Yeah. <laughs> but why? I don't know. Oh my God. No one knows why. That movie won the fucking Oscar. How? What is there? What? How do for greatest fish fish bag? <laughs> for greatest fish porn. Well, ever okay, made. serious question for the Oscars: Like, what do they judge movies off of? It should be what sells by how much money the the uh, company pays. No, but it's <laughs> okay. It's inside job. It's fucking. It's how Beyonce keeps winning music awards. <laughs> Damn. Hey, but shout out to Billie Eilish. She won an Oscar. Nice. I like Billy. I don't know what song. I, From the I, Barbie song. I never saw it. I did see it because I have a nine-year-old have a, daughter. You have a daughter. I enjoyed if it. I'm watching the I enjoyed Barbie the Barbie movie, movie pop it up better than I enjoyed Poor Things. I'll tell you that right now. I liked the Barbie movie. God, I put a good joke out there. You guys, I just, I, I'm sorry. I was in La La Land. Another, <laughs> they won an Academy Award, too. I saw, I Emma saw. Stone. and <laughs> I just watched Chewy. Sorry. I, I said if I watched a Barbie movie, I end up on a list. <laughs> yes. Yeah, forty year old by himself. Yeah. yeah, watching the Barbie, movie, watching the Barbie movie. All of a sudden, I'm gonna get the. Can we talk to you with fucking Chris Hansen standing outside with a camera? <laughs> what the fuck, man! I'm just watching. What a am movie. I gonna do with these pizzas? <laughs> Weird. Yeah. You know what I do want to see? Dune. You didn't watch it yet. The second one. You didn't watch it yet? No. The only reason I want to go to the movie theater to see it is for that popcorn. <laughs> it's just you want to fuck the popcorn bucket. There's people who have t-shirts on. I'm just here to fuck the dude popcorn buckets. <laughs> What's the popcorn bucket? Have you bucket? not seen it? No. Sean, can you pull up a picture of it? It's so there's it's like these the worm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like it, oh. looks, uh, it looks like a, dude. I seriously have watched the first Dune maybe five times, and I still don't know what the fuck is going on. But I'm still gonna go see the second one, <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> 179 bucks on Etsy. Really? Damn. Tell me about that popcorn bucket. What the fuck? Would you put your hand in that bucket? I no. guess I guess if there was popcorn in it. <laughs> what if there was a <laughs> something else in there? Chip's just wearing around his underwear. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Kayla, good there, real deep. There's popcorn at the bottom. The caramel. The cheese and caramel's all at the bottom. Caramel. Nope. Shlele in there. <laughs> Should have had your kilt on. I don't own a kilt. Should have had Kayla's plaid skirt on. <laughs> I don't own a plaid skirt. Oh, you liars! You did when we were young and fun. Ugh. You're thinking of somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of a fucking '98 fucking Pontiac, Pontiac Sunfire. Sunfire. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. If you haven't heard that fucking song, you need to go listen to it. I made Kayla listen to it today, and she laughed. I did. A little chuckle. That's just it? Kind of. Yeah, just a... Because oh, if, if he drives a 98 Pontiac Sunfire, he's probably going to try to date you and your sister simultaneously. Simultaneously. <laughs> Same time. You're also going to wake yeah. up with no copper wiring in your walls. <laughs> Can you just imagine <laughs> waking up, everything's torn out your fucking walls. All the coppers on There's TV. some fucking cars that they made, and you look back and you're just like, why? How did this get the, greenlit? The Ford Escort? And the Escort's not even that bad, but like the Pontiac Aztec, 
Ooh, Remember yeah. that fucking thing? Yeah, but you could get a tent with it. That was, yeah, that was like the big draw. Like the back went up and it would, it had like a built in tent. Oh. But it looks like a plastic piece of ass. <laughs> oh, it looked like shit. It looked like if it got hit by a rock, the rock would just go through. I'm trying to think of other ugly ass fucking cars. Like, how did this get made? HHR. Yeah. What was the cube? The cube. <laughs> oh. Yeah, those Remember what the gerbils breakdancing inside the car? Yep. That was the Kia Soul. <laughs> yep, I was going to say, that was the Soul, though. Yeah. The, the, cube. Ori- the original Kia Soul. I think the Soul and the Cube were in the same realm. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was the... They're so ugly. And before the co- the Cube and the Soul was the PT Cruiser and the HHR. Oh. I mean, they took some chances. I mean, you miss 100% of the shots, shots you don't take, right? Yeah. I mean... Those should have been missed. Wayne Gretzky. Oh, they were missed. <laughs> they were... Or like, the, or like the neon. The neon made oh. by everybody. Plymouth, Plymouth Dodge, Dodge and fucking Chrysler. Uh, Chrysler. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Here right. he comes. All right, buddy. Here comes the cat. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Here comes the cat. Lay he's really, down. He's really bad tonight. He's feeling the den. Look at him. He's going to claw my keyboard. All right, little kitten. It's all right. <laughs> got to deal with cats. Got to deal with cats every now and then. <laughs> You're in the den. Uh, I yep. saw an old guy shoot a Biden joke out that made me kind of giggle. What was that? It was, do you know what Biden stands for? What does Biden stand for? Biggest idiot Democrat ever nominated. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, the thing, you know. The We're sun. definitely getting taken off of YouTube because I just talked bad about Biden. Oh, so God. <laughs> It. Sean, we're not going to get political. We don't have to. It's the fucking, it's the Benny Hill show. Every time I watch <laughs> fucking anything he does, that fucking song just kicks out of my head. I just can't when people like defend him. Like he is in control. He's sharp. And it's just like. He has dementia. Where? <laughs> John Stewart just had a perfect skit where they're talking about all these meetings he's running and doing all this. He's sharp as a tack, this and that. And he's like. Did you film any of that? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's just the camera. You just can't. Yeah, maybe he just gets flustered in front of the camera and just panics. I'm I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Yeah. That, still the fucking Revolutionary War airports and Jesus water. He stuff. said something else fucking wild too the other day. <laughs> Almost as crazy as the fucking Revolutionary War, and Jesus said we needed more airports. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> the oh. sign of the cross. <laughs> Whoa, man. You know, everybody used to make fun of like Gerald Ford because he fell down all the time. And Jimmy Carter was a, you know, hick from Georgia. Boy, Uh-oh. if oh, Saturday no. Night Live had some nuts like the old days. <laughs> yeah, they'd get be getting oh, after it. Man. Get mama's butthole off. Oh, my God. This <laughs> is all right. I'm going to have to blur this out on YouTube. <laughs> Can't be showing cat ass. <laughs> oh. Jesus there's just, there's Christ! Just be a subscribe button right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Following around. Oh my around. lord! Our asshole. <laughs> what is going on tonight with these cats? I don't know. I think I filled up their bowl. Yeah. Spring fever. Now they're just full bellies. And now we're gonna get the let's uh, clean each other on the oh table God. in front of everybody. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad birds. y'all are listening to this. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a picture of it. Here we go. Oh, Live in the God. air. These fucking cats. I will say, once these two are gone, I am not getting any more cats. Okay. The problem is, is cats are awesome, but they suck too. I'm going to tell you this. Everybody wants a cat. You know, you're like, come here, yeah. come here. All this cat, they get like upset because the cat never comes to them. Until you get a cat that won't leave you to fuck alone. Exactly. Yeah. Like this cat over here. <laughs> she just looked at me like, yeah, I mean. <laughs> like, I can't even Sundays. come down in this basement and just watch a movie alone. Because this cat is up my fucking ass the entire He's time. He's bad. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, football football Sundays. Mm-hmm. Give me a little Just licking my beard. Eating the other cat's ass, and coming then. back, and then licking my beard. <laughs> Can't get this taste out of my mouth. 
he had a taste of my beard. So he goes and eats an asshole. <laughs> yeah, but they used to taste of the beard back. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's taste, it's taste That's like when you get a Bloody Mary and then they give you the little chaser beer. Yeah. That's what he's doing. What? <laughs> he's chasing my fucking beard. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh, man, man. oh, fuck. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, God. Yeah, no, once they're gone, no more. I don't want any more cats. No, I'm done with the cats. Well, hey, at least you don't have the extra one you had or extra couple you had. The extra kitten, couple? The kittens and shite. Mm. Yeah, there were, there were quite we a few. We went through a time. There were quite a few. Caleb, the lady was... Caleb was the animal hoarder for... A picking up strays. <gasps> Not... Oh, my God. Speaking of that, did you see the video I tagged you in today? I did. That lady... <laughs> yeah. And she's like, my husband thinks that I just pick up strays. She's like, but I, this is proof I don't. She's running, and she's like, what'd she say? I'm Come running on. from you. I'm running, I'm running from, from you. you. Come on, go away. Go away. Come on, go away. <laughs> and then at the end, she said, "Okay, come on." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I wasn't hoarding them. We were rescuing them and adopting them out. We did. We did our part. Yep. That's enough. Building a closer America through each homeless weirdo <laughs> Kayla can find. You did good, babe. You got the a big kids, heart. Oh, the kids loved it. Oh, they did. The kids absolutely loved it. As Kayla was down there nursing cats. Oh, those kittens. I know. Breastfeeding them. Does that work? Nope. It's your sister's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kayla's on call. So she might have an emergency meeting. No, hopefully not. She might have, well, might have to drive all the way to work. To... Hopefully not. How Don't your... go jinxing it, you guys. How was your guys' week? I know how yours was, honey. Do you want to share, or is it too toxic? What about Sean? What's he been up to? Well, Jeff, thank you for asking. Well, I'm just, have you seen any good movies lately? I watched Safe House today. Safe house. It sounds like an older one. It was Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds and, and Denzel. Denzel. All Ooh, right. We watched a Ryan Reynolds movie today, right? Yes. Um, shit. What was the name of it now? Is that what it's called? <laughs> shit. What Come was back. the name of it now? <laughs> no, that was pretty good. I watched that, and then I watched a uh, flag football movie. One of those cheesy like, flag football movie. Yeah, Prime's got all those cheesy, like, fucking <clears throat> independent movies, so I yeah. watched one of those, too. Nice. It wasn't horrible. What was it called? Balls Out. What? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Balls Out. That's what it was called. What made, yeah. I was going to say, was it? It was the preview. Okay. <laughs> Balls Out. Balls Out. Guy gets paralyzed from the nuts down. What? He, Are you he, making this he, up? I really feel like you. Shut the fuck not, up. I'm done. <laughs> this is the premise of this movie. They're a freshman intramural football team that wins, but their star player gets paralyzed from the balls down, and everybody quits because... Wouldn't you say waist down? No, no. <laughs> That's the key. From the balls down. Not the waist down. Okay. The balls down. I don't know why the balls. So they attach the flags to his wheelchair? No. So <laughs> so he disappears. The one guy's like. Like a magician? Engaged. It's one of those gets engaged to the rich girl and the dad's a lawyer because he's trying to be a lawyer. And it's kind of like that premise. And then. But his life's over now. And that he basically he's having like a quarter life crisis. Gets the flag football team back together. They go to play against the fucking rival team. He falls in love with the dude's sister. It's one of those. You're gonna say with the dude, and I was like, "Wow." Yeah, no, it's not fag football. It's flag. Oh boy, we have to believe that that one. (laughs) Why? Uh, That's a word. It is cigarette. Yeah, it is cigarette. Yep. Because Jeff's British, if you didn't know. (laughs) Jeff's um, very German last name. It's the Germans. It really British. It's the Germans. Gosh, I can't get over the name of that movie. Right? Balls out. Balls out. <laughs> huh. Dude, I will watch it again with you guys because it wasn't great. I don't know that I even want to watch it. You guys you know, can watch it. You know, how does it? You know who's in it is uh, the blonde-haired lady from Saturday Night Live. 
the one that always like plays the redneck when they get taken up by the aliens where she's spread out smoking the cigarette the whole time. Everybody what? else had like good, <laughs> they had like good times with the aliens and she's like they <laughs> beat me with a stick for a half hour. <laughs> Kate McKinnon, that's what her name okay. is. Kate McKinnon. She plays in Ghostbusters and all that shit. Yeah. Well the Ghostbusters no one watched. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Happy International Women's Day. <laughs> I'm sorry. That movie was rough. Let's just be honest. I, I don't hate it because it's like I can't stand when people do that. Like, oh, you didn't like it because I didn't you're watch sexist. it because it was all women. No, no. because it no, sucked. The movie was shit. I'm sorry. I mean. I don't even really remember it. Chris Hemsworth, or was that Chris? Is that who yeah. was in it? Yeah. His character made me giggle a couple times. Yeah, he made me laugh. But otherwise, yeah, then, yeah. Yeah. So what happens well, with her? They fuck in a spaceship? Is that what, who fixed his legs? The aliens? <laughs> no, no. I'm seeing how you're mixing no, movies. No. <laughs> so, Jeff is so confused, Sean. So he played flag football, and then he lost no. his balls. No, he didn't no. lose his balls. No. And then he Kate McKinnon balls. sucked him up into a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> and beat him with a stick and, for a half hour. And gave him two flags <laughs> where his balls used to be. And then he signed him up for a football team. <laughs> honestly, honestly, this might be a better movie than what I watched. Oh, should we make it? We should make it. <laughs> uh, why not? They're banning everything. Yep. Let's just fucking do it. BJ, we need you. Ball flags. <laughs> No. So Could it be main, called Balls In? The main character is the one who threw the pass to star player that gets injured. Oh, okay. Injured guy comes back and becomes their coach and is completely raunchy and disgusting. It's like <laughs> it's like uh, Dodgeball, the coach from Dodgeball. Okay. Basically, there's a little bit of that mixed in there. Hmm. Patrick O. Houlihan. Pat, Patty O. Houlihan. <laughs> Hey, shout out on St. Patrick's Day to <laughs> Patty Oulan. <laughs> taught us the five D's of dodgeball. <laughs> Dodge. 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 <laughs> Got killed by the luck of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Pot of gold sign. <laughs> this one's for patches. <laughs> for patches. We'll put the, we'll put the handkerchief over our eyes later. <laughs> Do the fucking second half of the podcast blindfolded. blindfolded. <laughs> you know I can't talk without seeing. Uh, I know, it's weird. <laughs> Gets real quiet when it's dark. Well, I can't count without seeing because I need my fingers. <laughs> That's why Jeff's always in sandals. <laughs> How high can you count? 20. That's so sad. Kayla? Yeah. You married a special boy. I did. So I got a, uh, as a single guy, I got a question for the married couple. Mm-hmm. When did you know? I feel like you've asked us this before. <clears throat> I Oh, no. He's back. I think I've asked you off, off air. Yeah. When did we know? Like, when? know what? What? That Come on, this is the one. That's this the is, last this vagina? Is, this is it. <laughs> the only peni for the rest of my life. Oh, she knew it. She, as soon as I pulled my pants off, she's like, this is it. She's never laughed harder in her life. <laughs> First and only time she, he's ever made She's like, I love to I love to laugh. And this is this is <laughs> this a comedy filled. Comedy, comedy every time the pants come off. Is there more? Uh, is there more underneath? What, yeah, what else is there to love than No, that's a, this is a serious question. I need a serious answer. When did you know, man? Was there like a, a set like incident where you're like, oh, this is the rest of my life? I don't think so. I don't think I. I have think it, it's like every relationship. It just starts out as fun, you know, and then just seeing where it goes, and then uh, I guess you just kind of know when you can see yourself spending your life with that person. A lot of times it's fun for a while. Like, oh, this is fun. Like, you know, you've been in relationships where you're just yeah. fucking around and just having a good time. But you know it's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. But when you you can be just alone and do nothing. 
and just be comfortable with each other. Just be comfortable in each other's space. Yes. Yeah. So when, how long did that take? Oh, the first night when she fucking big spooned me. <laughs> she was, such, you like a she child? was such a nurturer. I said, oh, these, these soft Italian hands. And then she gave me the gabagool. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. I never turned back. There's a new t-shirt. It's going to be two Italian hands. Let's just say she gave me the gabagool. <laughs> what about you, babe? I don't know. I don't think there was like a particular like time. I think it was just overall, like, I think the biggest thing was how good he was with the boys. You know, like, I don't know. You were just so good with them all the time. And you didn't, like, complain when I had them. Because when I didn't, Jeffrey when I didn't is a need them, like, or when they were supposed real to Real man. Jeff real a, man of genius. Jeff mm. said. Of genius is pushing it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff said. Oh, this crazy redhead bitch from Kenosha. She got the kids. I really love them boys too, but they come first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like that kind of is what you felt like, safe. really pushed it. Yeah. You felt but safe with them. I don't think there was like. There wasn't like. A, I don't remember a, like when I was like. A Wednesday where you like woke up and looked at him drooling all over himself. Just yeah. Like, God, I cannot wait to spend the rest <laughs> of my life. Jeff is actually quite a peaceful sleeper. I am the one that is um, not peaceful at all. I'm gentle. <laughs> I'm hit or miss sometimes. You have those days where you can't get comfortable and you wake up and there's a pillow across the room. There's fucking blankets kind of on the bed. Kind of not. Yep. When I get drunk, though, I, I get nasally. I've done a couple podcasts drunk, and you could probably go back and listen and just howl like nasally. <laughs> I fucking am because I'm just you know so a lot of stuffed too. up. A lot of that too changed when you stopped smoking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro those those, <laughs> early, those early podcasts, leaving that garage, smelling like just oh. an ashtray. Oh yeah, you felt the nicotine on your arms. Yeah, it was leave. bad. It's just chain smokers. Well, yeah, then, like Frank during- and I would fucking probably smoke a pack. Just chain each. Smoke. Yeah, it was disgusting. <laughs> and during the summer, you know, you'd crack the garage. So that you try to get some fresh air in there and turn a fan on. And then the mosquitoes were so bad because the pond's over there. Yeah, it was. So it then was I would rough. have the citronella candles, like the garage the is cracked the like door. this. Yes. Citronella the other thing I noticed, there. though, not smoking is I don't really get that drunk anymore. I feel like the cigarettes just brought me to another Dude. level. Of drunkenness, like because they say, I think it raises your buzz. I don't know if this is proven fucking science. This is something I heard on the I, internet. I fucking believe, but it, it like raises watch, your buzz ten percent or something. Because you don't get that drunk where you will not leave the bar anymore. Well, okay, but I I do have to say that I think that also comes with like age. Yeah. No, I think. Th- well, plus, okay, but and I think about it this way, especially when we were out together, I would get fucking crazy. And then Jeff's like, we got to go. Like, <laughs> we need to leave. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a lover. Yep. And I mean, I am too. Kayla, you have. But also, I, I like. To, you I, have I, maybe not now, but. Definitely from young Kayla to, to Kayla now, you have grown tremendously. Oh, she's grown. Your violence isn't as fucking prevalent anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it's usually. It's usually just words now. Yes. Words of the violence that I would like to. Yeah, I, I would like to. But right. I don't. Yeah, but I don't. Because I, I, I don't know if I could stand to get punched in the face now. No, you, you kind of. Or any time. It's horrible getting punched in the face. I mean, I don't. I just don't know that I'd like it now. Not that I liked it before, but just. The, the, that iron taste of the blood coming off your lip. I'm all right. I don't need that anymore in my It's life. just the abs. Just the. The water, just getting hit in the nose sucks mm-hmm. so fucking bad. It does. Oh, it's the worst. Make it's sure the worst. Water. It's like a brat. It's the fucking worst. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. You're such an idiot. What? Dad, dad joke of the day. <laughs> oh, man. Dad joke of the day goes to Jeff. Mm-hmm. I that try. That bad. 
What? That was bad. That was a kick in the shit. Yeah. With your, <laughs> with your gold buckled <laughs> shoes, you fucking... Yeah, shillelagh. <laughs> I was listening to this video, like, I don't watch YouTube often, but um, Facebook has those, like... The reels? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was watching one, and it's this guy, and he's laying with his head on his wife's lap, and these are, like, all their videos. But the one today, he was like, you know, wives are like your pinky toe. They're they're good. When you bang they're, them on the counter. They're good. <laughs> it hurts. They're good for your toe. No. <laughs> they're good for your balance. You know, they help keep you balanced. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're cute. They're cute and little, but you don't truly appreciate them um, or realize that they're there until you bang them on the counter in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was so, he was obviously so line. much fun. Yeah, well, he was so much funnier, but it was just his, and then his wife was just sitting there and just like stared at him like, like how you fucking you're idiot. a fucking idiot. Like how you stare at me most, <laughs> most days. I like the one where the kid comes in and gives his, uh, like, will tell, like, a dirty joke in front of his mom. And she's like, ah, oh, I'm fighting his dad <laughs> in the background. Is just, just fucking dying. That in the, that's why your wiener's a little, like, your wiener's the size of a Tic Tac. He's, that's why your mother's breast smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, that was probably set up, but that was a. Yeah, it was still good. That's a good comeback. I like that one. I like it a lot. I like that one. I like it a lot. You're so special. I'm going to keep this head on the night for you, baby. Oh, Actually, man. keep the beard on. <laughs> <laughs> Just the beard? Just the beard. Just the beard. We're going to have to glue it on there. We're going to have to do something. Oh, my God. I'm glad the camera's picking up how it looks good on camera, but if you look, if you're sitting here looking oh at it, oh my god, I know it's rough. it's rough, rough go. It does look really good on the Hell camera, yeah, but brother. yeah, in person, <laughs> that hurt my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think I might have just fucked up there. Whoops. That's okay. Sometimes you get it. So Je Jeff has sensitive nipples. Should we talk about it? This episode of Doctor Phil, <laughs> Jeff with the sensitive nipples. I feel like everyone's got sensitive nipples. Do you have? I don't feel like you have like overly sensitive nipples. What does that even like mean? Because when I no. pinch them, you don't like freak out more than. Because he likes it, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> if you want to get a nipple hard, you, all you do is flick it instantly hard yeah. within five seconds. Wow, the way you just said that. Five seconds. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I had a uh, text message from a buddy that listens to the show and said, Finger dick all day long. <laughs> Your question. Was From the jerk off oh. fingers to get them hard. Yeah, shout out Casey. Yeah, finger dick all day long. That's awesome. Shout, shout out Steve-O. And... I couldn't sleep the other night thinking about it. How about if you want it? A finger dick or To have to fingers? jerk off your fingers so that you could use them? Yes, anything. My fucking alarm goes off on my phone. i got to quickly <laughs> jerk my hand. So I can turn off the alarm just on the phone. Flamming your flaccid fingers on like the phone. Like hot dog fingers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, that's that movie won an Oscar that deserved to, because that was a good movie. Yes. Everything, everywhere, all, all at once. once. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It is so fucking awesome. It's so good. Watch it. It is sober. a roller coaster ride. Watch it sober first. Yeah, because you will feel like you're high. Yeah. And then and then get high and watch it, and, and it's even it. better. Very much so. That, that is a good mushroom movie. There's some things I've watched high, and I, I'm like, I, I have to watch this again sober. A couple episodes of The Boys. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? That, I feel like, so all of these, like, <coughs> that movie and then The Boys, <laughs> I've been sober watching. And yeah, I'm just the entire time, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I made the mistake of getting really, really, Really edibled up one night and watching Midsummer. Oh man, don't don't watch that movie. I heard that's another one. Like poor things. It's just oh boy, it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. What you said, opening scene, like right away, yeah, like it's 
it's a weird like religious cult in Sweden. Sweden, what the hell? Oh, or Finland or something. Yeah, dude, it's, it's <laughs> one of those lands. Yeah, the opening scene of the movie is the girl's sister killed herself by duct taping a hose to her face on the back of her exhaust pipe. Uh-huh. So turn the car on. And yeah, got asphyxiated, but she fucking duct tapes the hose to her face. Oh, why? She wanted to get the And didn't that win a fucking Oscar too? Yes, it did. I see, <laughs> see? Okay, but that I seriously want to know like what their criteria is. Yes. I'm interested. I want to know. There's so many bad movies that have won Oscars. Right. So I want to know what it's based off of. Um Poor Things was well acted mm-hmm. and it was well shot. Mm-hmm. The music was good. I mean, they they went through different cameras. One was like a fisheye lens. One was like kind of like a peephole lens. It was, and the visual effects were awesome. But like the actual movie, the just storyline of fucking it. sucked. The, the ri- storyline of the, the movie writing sucked. Was shit. Yeah, I don't even know that. I don't know. It was just there was so or much fucking shit happening at one time. It was a uh, uh, was it a sensory overload kind of deal. Like I said, I I had to pause it because I, I thought it was three hours already. And I oh. literally paused it and I had an hour left. <laughs> and I what I should have did is just kept it paused and just did something else for a while. Went and took a and walk. And then came back to it. But then I just played it. And then for the most rest of the movie, I pretty much just fucked around on my phone. It just and makes, when something crazy happened, I just looked up. It just makes me sad because like the preview for it looks really good. Right. It looks like whimsical and crazy and visually it looks fucking dope which it is however like i said if you like seeing emma stone get plowed by mark ruffalo then this is for you and if you do call a fucking therapist (laughs) fucking quick (laughs) mark ruffalo naked is just not on my fucking radar at all i don't think he's on anyone's radar that's not nice over like fucking anybody, yeah, Ryan Reynolds or fucking any, yeah. Mark Ruffalo is the fucking dad bot of Hollywood. <laughs> I would rather see Danny DeVito. Oh, ew, you fucking oh. perv. What? <laughs> You're would... talking about? You need therapy. I do. What just came out of your mouth? But because I can laugh at that, and Mark <laughs> Ruffalo would be like, oh. <laughs> You'd be depressed. Uh, I mean, oh, Aww. This, Aww. If I get in shape, is kind of what I got to look forward to. It's just <laughs> a melted bag of plastic. <laughs> oh. He performed very well, though. I tell you That's what. That's good. When he was, like, thrusting, his butt cheeks did that weird thing. Like, the when, clinch? Yeah, it was good. Shout out to Mark Ruffalo's ass. Wow. You really paid attention okay. during those scenes, huh? Okay, whose ass was more off-putting in a movie? <laughs> Mark Ruffalo's or Tommy Wiseau's? Oh, Tommy Wiseau, for sure. That was just uncomfortable fucking. (laughs) And that was like the first 20 minutes of the movie. We're talking about The Room, by the way. If you haven't seen it, the greatest movie of all time. Jeff got to see the disaster artist finally. Yeah, it was good. You love The Room. That, okay, I will say, I love it. You're tearing me apart, Kayla! What was the one with the duck? Wasn't it a duck? Cheep, cheep, cheep. Oh, cheep, 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 cheep. cheep. <laughs> Such a chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. That movie was so fucking stupid. Oh, my God. I love the room because it's just, it's what it is. And then you, had his, dream. then you had his face plastered on our fucking fridge forever. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, God. You're my favorite customer. Boy. Keep the change. I bet she went to years of acting school. <laughs> oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. You didn't know it was the greasy hair. <laughs> Fucking vampire. vampire. Yeah, well, he was just, just wearing sunglasses <laughs> and threw you off. He's just a weird dude. Yeah. Weird dude. He's from New Orleans. Five million dollars to make that movie, or was it six million? Five. It might have been six when all said and done. It made $118,000. Or I eight, thought it was $1,800. No, $1,800. $1, well, He's probably awful. made it back by now, though, don't you think? With the Disaster Artist and all the DVD oh, sales. Dude, and then the midnight screenings. That movie is like a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show now. Remember all the pictures, for some reason, were like spoons? 
like in the background. Yeah. Uh, so people like bring spoons, spoons and throw them every throw time them. they see one. Yes, it's like yeah. that's a thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. a Rocky Horror Picture Show, but it's for oh. the room. <laughs> and, and honestly, going to see that movie in a theater, oh boy, that would be a. I'm ready. We should do. We should find out. We should just host one. The gentleman's den presents the room. Oh God! Where we do a live, we'll do a live. commentary. Yeah. Or you can come inside me into my basement. <laughs> <laughs> we should have recorded the first time because who's we had quite a few people over when we watched it. Yeah, and like like I said, the first legit what 15, 20 minutes is like a straight up sex scene. And it is uncomfortable. Yeah. And we were watching it with other people. I'm like, you have to watch this movie. And they're like, all right, fine. And they thought it was some grand masterpiece. And I put it in. And it is they a, look at me like, what the fuck might be, did you just put on? It might be a top five gift I've ever got for Jeff. <laughs> it was a copy of The Room. Yes. Yeah, that movie, man. It's uh, special. That, that movie's going to find its way onto the shelf behind us. I'm going to get a fucking full body shot of Tommy Wiseau. Ooh, maybe, oh, no. Maybe you oh, get, no. Kayla. No. Oh. We make a couple phone calls to our artist friends. We get a Tommy Wiseau air no. brush on the wall. Oh, yes. God. Please, no. Throwing a football to Jesus. Uh, it was bad enough <laughs> when his face was on our fridge. Yeah, it was for a long time. So Caleb bad. purposely lost that. Mm -hmm. I did not purposely, I have my with but I'm you not. About that. But I'm not sad that it's I'm, gone. I'm not gonna lie to you. Whoever bought the condo as soon as they moved that fridge from that picture, it's not me. Oh, for so. sure. <laughs> for sure. Like, what the fuck is this? The fuck. Yeah, it probably was under there. Oh, it was on the side. It's like those people who I don't. They build like decks and shit, and they'll put like those plastic skeletons. <laughs> Yeah, or in the, or in the count in the cabinets. yeah. So if they ever tear this fucking shit up, they're gonna find these skeletons. I'm all for it. That's like that's a good joke. That is I, good. I kind of went down that rabbit hole for a little bit. Was the uh, people that are remodeling old houses and they find you know suitcases full of fucking money and, in the walls and shit. Yeah, they find a whole other room. Did you ever see that one? That's so, crazy. Behind yeah. the mirror in the bathroom. Yeah. Girl, yeah. Did you see the one where? I don't know if stuff was missing in their kitchen, so then they put a camera, and someone was like... Living in the attic? Yes, living in the attic, and they would come in during the night and take shit out of the cupboards. Make a sandwich. And then crawl back up into the fucking attic. Oh, hell. Oh, That's a new oh, fear yeah. unlocked for me. Yeah, can you imagine, imagine going up to... You think you got some fucking critter in your roof? There's <laughs> fucking dude up there eating a fucking thing around. Yeah. <laughs> I would lose my shit. I can't even imagine. Fucking fill the dirty trash panda is up there. <laughs> fucking <laughs> eat a cup of noodles. Yeah. Watching fucking Golden Girls reruns. Or a fucking peanut butter, chunky peanut butter, oh. <laughs> all over his beard. <laughs> eat about a handful. Just some like I cannot even imagine. That's worse than yeah, somebody no. breaking into your house. Like they no, broke in and lived there. No, I'd be freaked the fuck out to watch that footage. No, well, there'd, you, be, there'd be a dead guy. Because I would go oh, yeah, there, no, for un sure. I would unload two magazines into them. <laughs> like, You've been eating my fucking cup of noodles, bro. Oh. Each one that went missing, you're getting a shot for. Just yell up there, fucking rents due next week, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You better have a job there, homeless Jim. <laughs> Don't be selling my copper wire out my walls. Either, yeah, right. Son of a bitch. Why wouldn't you just have kept it in that cup? Well, no, that's not my. Because he likes. It's not my YouTube cup. He likes oh, giving okay. the props to the Grateful Shed. Gotcha. Where's that in the Dells? The Grateful the Dells? Shed in the Dells. Mm -hmm. Oh, so dope! Such a cool place. Like, Food trucks inside. Genius. Mm -hmm. Love it. Go check it out if you go to the Dells. Grateful Shed. Amazing. Is Marley still alive in the Dells? No, it's. Grateful Shed is the old Marley's. Is it? Yeah. Which? which no, well, then they moved. The old Marley's, like it's called Toppers now. That's a nightclub slash. It's a place we went and ate dinner. When yeah, we there. and so we, us girls went over to the nightclub side, and we were the only ones there. Oh, honey, it's dead. Yeah, it's the, dead. The only thing to do in the Dells is hit the fucking strip, showboat and nigs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
They got a couple new bars out there off the strip. <clears throat> like where we went and had breakfast that yeah. one day. But it ain't the same. Haven't been up there in a while. All right. What are we at, Sean? Yeah, these done? Time to, uh, yeah, time to fucking uh, answer the internet from Barstool Sports. Not a sponsor. Could be. Could be. Sponsor? <gasps> Possibly <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, who's going first? Ladies first. Jeff. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to change this from midgets to leprechauns because it's St. Patty's Day. Okay. Who would win in a battle royale? 30. I'm going to change this because we all know the answer. I was going to say 30 midgets versus a full-grown lion. <laughs> I'm going to say 30 magical leprechauns. Versus a full-grown lion? Versus a full-grown lion. It's a lion. Really? <laughs> Lions going to destroy those things. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, like shit through a goose. <laughs> well, if the leprechauns are also I just said they're magical. If they're degenerates and they're hammered, the lions got it. Do you think they're going to jizz glitter and rainbows all over that fucking thing? They might. It's still going to eat them. He's just going to be so weighed down because he's going to have so much jizz and glitter in his fur. <laughs> he's not going to be able to move. <laughs> So much, yes. so much jizzy glitter. <laughs> Think about it. So much jizzy glitter. Just now. Nah, do you want to rethink your answers? Yeah, like, I guess the degenerate leprechauns. That <laughs> so much jizzy glitter was that RuPaul's fucking <laughs> biography? Oh. <laughs> yes. It might have been. All right, so you changed your mind? Yeah. Yep. I'm still running with the lion, man. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing those things fucking just ravage people. Don't go on Twitter because they show a lot of murder on there. It really, <laughs> yes. fucking, really fucking starts to drain you after a while. Yeah, Ch- you gotta change start, a man. You got, you got to start blocking sites. Kayla, what you got? Mm-hmm. Let's get this. Like, this All person. right. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson or nope. sound like him for the rest of your life? How many? T- I get to fight him once. Yeah. Fight, well, it doesn't specify, so I'm assuming one time you would fight him one I, time. I, I don't think there's only more than one time you're getting out of the fight. I don't fight think with so. Him. I mean, or if I could want, fight him, you want to what is with that? I'm taking. I'm taking the. What if I have the wispy taking, this in your ear? You rest of your life. I'm taking the CTE. Come on, baby. Let me let me put it in your butt. I'll have. To, <laughs> I'll have to eat. It's St. Patty's Day. So I'm gonna give you a leprechaun special. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Taste the shamrock shake. <laughs> I think I'll fight him. Do you really yeah, want me to sound him. like this for the rest of my I'm life? No. Kayla, I'm, come on. Yeah, I'd fight him too. Fight Just him. touch it. Play with my wiener. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is the one that made me laugh because we've all thought it. Which fictional character would you love to beat the shit out of? <laughs> um, King Joffrey <laughs> from fucking Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. He is I'll beat the fuck out of that uh, cunt. That guy was a dick. Never oh, good stand up. He reminded me of Joaquin Phoenix, like in fucking Gladiator. Yes, that's a good one, too. Yeah. I'd like to tack hammer him in the fucking forehead. Yeah, King Joffrey. <laughs> that's just uh, the first one who popped in my head. I want to say, you know, I'm really bad at it. There's characters you just fucking hate as soon as you see them. And the problem is like just a villain or just someone just you cannot fuck. I can't stand this character. Um, I don't really know. I I don't really know. You don't know. Let's go with uh, I'm going to go like full on like cartoon here, I guess. I'm going to go with Corella's cruel ass. Ooh, Corella de Vil. Yeah. For hurting all the pups. Mm hmm. There's a good one. Yeah, that was that one made me laugh because I just. In my mind, just <laughs> like some commentator, we're here today at the Grand Garden Arena to see this guy beat the shit out of a fictional character. Well, who would you beat the shit out of? Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix from Gladiator. Gladiator. That's a good one. Okay. Anybody like that plays like fucking the real gnarly villains in movies. Like you fucking watch another movie with him, you're like, I fucking hate that guy. He was fucking sin. Yeah. I mean... Straight up killed his own dad and then had, you know, yeah, had his family killed and then tried to kill him. And then, oh, uh, yeah, that was a villain, yeah, sadistic villain. 
Yeah, that or Jar Jar fucking Banks. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> there's, there's. That is a fucking. Who is that? Jar Jar. <laughs> oh, the Star Wars fans are coming Star for you, babe. Star Wars. Oh my! Well, I don't remember. The look, ref- I'm gonna look it up. The- Me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> Me so nako nika mana. Me oh. so Jar Jar Binks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the most racist character in the you galaxy. Fuck that fucking guy. I'm really bad at names. I know, but you got it. Like, would you like to beat the shit out of one of the Kardashians? If you could turn any movie into a porno with the same cast from that movie, which movie <laughs> are you picking? Wow. Uh huh. See, am I going for comedic value or am I going for like. I'm going to go with Balls Out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't want to see that as a porn Yes. Ever. Can I go with the new Avatar? Just put them all in a porn. Yeah, that'd be kind of kinky. Watch those blue <laughs> things fuck. <laughs> Mainly because it's just their hair. <laughs> yeah, they just plug together. They just yeah. plug in. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's kind of what the Mormons do, right? With soap, yeah. they kind of just plug in. Just kind of hang out. Dude, I have no idea. Like, comedic value? Give me, like, Cocoon. Just yeah. Old, just just old people. Just, just fucking gnarly old people. Just banging. And they're getting the energy. They're yeah, feeling like, young. Yeah. And and uh, out of, like... Uh, I would choose Rambo. So it's just one guy alone <laughs> in the woods. And people are coming after him. And he just fucks him one by one. <laughs> Good comedic value. Right there. <laughs> That's good comedic value. Yeah. And perv side, <laughs> Spring Breakers. Yeah. For the cast. For the cast. Oh, for sure. I mean, don't want to see James Franco's hog, but I mean, it's <laughs> cost of living in that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's collateral damage. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. You got to take something to get. I think you're getting four top-notch women, yeah. so you might as well see. Yeah. Yeah. Deal with dickhead and brains with a, with a grill. Yeah, this fucking penis is cornrow pubes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Kayla. Fucking riffraff fucking Jesus. cock. Oh my god. All right. Would you rather your mom or your daughter be a porn star? <laughs> um. Uh, fuck. Take, oh, this is horrible. Can I take the this bullet? Is horrible. Can I take the bullet? If I had a daughter, I'm saying mom. You got I, yeah. I'd, my mom can fuck all she wants. She's yeah, an adult. She's a, yeah. <laughs> but my daughter is my baby girl. Yeah, you don't want to see your your kid taking back shots. Well, it doesn't say that you're in a. You're gonna. You know what though? You're gonna. Your friends at work are gonna send it to you. Yeah. Hey, this kid looks just like yours. Yeah, no, my mom for sure. Yeah, we'll Get your freak on, ma. Fun fact, I just noticed that these have this. It says that 72% of Barstool readers chose their mom. Yeah. If Not all can, of them say that, but yeah. If you could have... That's, well, yeah, it's, I'm just saying I didn't... Some of them do, yeah. If you could have one fictional dog as your pet, who would it be? One fictional Ooh. dog? You know, from, you know, it could be Wishbone, it could be... Clifford. Clifford. Oh, oh. That'd be cool. Big red dog. Yeah, we'd be drinking all the water out of your pool. It'd be costing you <laughs> fucking. That's true. Yeah, I couldn't have a dog like that. Fuck, I don't know. I'm trying to think of dogs, fictional dogs. Um, Scooby fucking do. I mean, that's like, <laughs> the, that's the fucking so go-to annoying. answer, right? <laughs> um, For the me, dog. Yeah. Sean's fucking Scooby Here is top go, notch. <laughs> the dog from All Dogs Go to Heaven. Like the main character. The mutt? Yes. I'd take him. Huh. Damn. That's just one that pops right in there. You know, it's one of those ones, too. I'm like, that movie with uh, that's coming out with uh, Mark Wahlberg, where King King Arthur or whatever it is, where the, the dog, it's based on a true story, where, like, the stray dog starts following these hikers. And going on all these adventures with these guys, and they like adopt them and take them all over the Aww. world. Huh. Huh. But like monetarily wise, give me Airbud. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's that'd a be good cool. One. Air Bud. Like, watch my dog at the halftime show catch this football <laughs> 90 yards. Yeah, maybe Shadow from Homeward Bound. Oh, yeah. He's a good boy. Shadow was a good boy. Shadow. <laughs> he was a good boy. Chance. I love that movie. Yeah, great movie. If you're around our age, which is old as shit, you've seen Homeward Speak Bound. Speak for yourself, <gasps> sir. Also, you know, I get real depressing. This is fucking depressing! All those dogs and cats are dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are! <laughs> Have you seen oh, the... Bi- <laughs> Milo and Otis, dead. You want to get real depressing? Go look at the Milo and Otis body count. They killed... <laughs> Thousands of animals. What? Who's? Milo and Otis. Oh, Milo and Otis. They had like 20 cats Who's die. That? They had no stunt doubles. They're like, get another one. <laughs> they were cleaning oh, out shelters. Shit. Oh, yeah. They sent it right off the fucking waterfall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. You want to go down a dark fucking turn. That's awful. Hey, that's the price of business. What you want to Hollywood. Fuck? You want to be famous, cat? And not I'll do anything. Oh, that All right, so get in that fucking basket. <laughs> That's so going down the Suck river. Suck the producer's cock and get in that basket. <laughs> That's so sad. Sassy the cat got the job. But oh, he's sexually harassed. If you love by... animals, don't look up Milo and Otis. Oh. Really <laughs> I'm sorry, did I? That was depressing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, who is the best fat athlete of all time? William Perry. I was going to say Vince Wilfork. Ooh. Vince Wilfork was a fucking problem. (sighs) Butterbean was a good fat athlete. Yeah. Huh. I think, like, William Perry was, like, the first fat athlete. And And what's crazy is, like... Wasn't that fat. Not to d- today's to standards. Stand- he, no, was he was like, like barely 200. over 300. But in the first camp, they wanted him to get down to 280. Yeah, because he was too fat. And now they're like th- minimum. Was too you got to be 350. And how tall was he? 6'2". I feel like he was taller than that. Really? 6'2"? They called him the refrigerator because he was the biggest fucking thing ever. And now he's like the size of a Derrick Henry. <laughs> the heaviest guy... On the That's Chicago crazy. Bears offensive line was six seven Keith Van Horn and he weighed two hundred and ninety five pounds. He would be getting thrown <laughs> across the field now by Miles Garrett. In these oh like, shout out Aaron Donald retired. Aaron Donald retired. Fucking beast. I'm a little heartbroken because Justin Fields is now a Pittsburgh Steeler. <sighs> you want to play it one more time for a sixth round pick? You want to go back for a what pick? Sixth round pick. This is fucking depressing. It is the Bears. Being a Bears fan wrapped up. That that drop right there is being a Bears fan. This is fucking depressing. What what pisses me off about it is he's had nothing to throw to for three years. They get targets. They have a very good offense right now with what they've picked up. I thought they'd get a second round pick for him. And they fucking trade him. What do you think, babe? That's Are so you a Justin dumb. Fields fan? I mean, I liked him better than Cutler. How dare you? These are fighting words around here. That's fine. Jay Cutler is a fucking... Jay Cutler is the golden I'm tired boy. of watching his whiny face. Oh, he's so good. He has diabetes, man. Jeez. I don't give a fuck. Poor guy. Your face would be all poopy, too, if you <laughs> couldn't have a Snickers bar. <laughs> he can have a Snickers bar, just not all the time. Shout out Jay Cutler, who got divorced and closed his bank accounts and told his oh, wife to wow. get a job. <laughs> Damn. So good. Everybody's like, oh, she made all the money. No, nah, man. Cuddy, Cuddy made some coin. Cuddy man. made all the money. Get a job. Cuddy made, especially at the end of his career, those fucking contracts he was getting from... Balling. From fucking, he got twenty two million dollars one year. You got a like four games. You got a shillelagh on there to play us out. A shillelagh. <laughs> a ba- that'd be a bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> What's a shillelagh? A Have I even is seen a one? Stick. <laughs> what is it? It's a stick. Hey, that you has got a stick? Kno- well, it has the knob on the end of it. He does. <laughs> oh, is it? 
It looks like a fucking. Fear. I have one of those. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff's magic shillelagh. I've been playing the shillelagh all these years, and I didn't even know it. Do you have a sweater for it? Oh, fucking turtleneck. <laughs> so, only on YouTube will you get to see the uh, the the pre-show that we did and talked about uh, sweaters for your meat. Meat sweaters. <laughs> Go check sweater. it out. Hoodie for your woody. <laughs> I love it. All right, my everybody's Irish today. Is that the thing? Kiss me, I'm Irish. I think so, yeah. Except for don't don't have the Italians say that. So, oh, 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 hey. Ain't no Irishman today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today, not ever. She's a ginger. Don't let it fool you. Man. I'm going to come. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What My the lord. Fuck? <laughs> Tell oh, me with a good time. Before we leave, RFK, have you seen any of the who his possible running mates might be? No. Number one, Aaron Rodgers. Shut the fuck up. Number, That's not happening. Number two, Jesse the Body Ventura. I want the Okay, debates. so this is this is turned into a debauchery. I want the fucking debates. I don't. I, I, I just want I want a strong leader in there. It's not gonna like just get. Come on, we can't have fucking Sleepy Joe up there, walking around like a fucking Roomba. But then Trump, I mean, what? what uh, uh, <laughs> let's stop Aaron with the circus. Rogers? No, I don't want it. Are you fucking like for real? Yeah, it's Aaron R- RFK Jr. Is either gonna all right? Run. End this thing right now. Yeah, this is I over. This is silly. It's, God damn it. It's, you know, this is America, Sean. It is. We're already getting laughed at. Yeah. Laughing stock of the world. give you a thumbs up? But it's all right. Because you guys sat <laughs> through another episode of number one podcast in southeastern Wisconsin on this block. Whoop yep. Whoop. Fucking ain't right. No one else does it like us. Thank you, guys. Fuck the other blocks. For Jeff. <laughs> For Kayla, I Keep am coming. Sean. Come on back next week for another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that fun shit. Bye. Later. Goodbye. Keep coming. <laughs> Welcome back to The Gentleman's Den. We made it. Uh...